Is it time to put a three wood back in the bag? Is the Mizuno STG fairway wood a fairway finder? And am I about to change my mind that currently suggests three woods are just good at collecting cobwebs? To admit this new lineup of fairway woods has asked that question since I tried and loved the new STG5 wood. So the focus of this video is really trying to identify whether or not we should be considering putting a three wood back in the bag and if so why. I'm going to start off with data on Trackman up here at Hollywell Golf Club and there's key parameters that I'm looking for. Obviously one is carry distance but then I want to see what separates them in terms of spin and what separates them in terms of launch. Then I'm gonna be out on the golf course. We're gonna see if the data is uh, relayed out on the golf course in terms of its performance the same. And then I wanna come up with a conclusion on whether or not there is justifiable reason to either put three wood and five wood in the bag or perhaps one and not the other. Right, some feedback off the golf course. First of all, am I seeing what I see in terms of dry ball data? The answer is probably yes, but there are some variables that would concern me, and I'll talk about those in a bit. I've hit quite a few tee shots off uh, this one tee box here, and you'll see there's some variables in the ball flights. And I'm not necessarily gonna point out which club is which right now, but I can tell you that it surprised me a little. So at the start of the video, the idea was to consider the possibility of putting a three wood back in the bag because of how well this five wood had performed from Mizuno. What I'm finding is I've got, still got exactly the same issues and it's not about the product, it's more about me. I would much prefer to see more loft address and that's down to a confidence thing. And I still think that that greater loft is giving me more variety and confidence and I'm seeing a very much a one dimensional shot out on the golf course from the three wood. It's not a bad shot, but it's one dimensional in my book. It's a very penetrating flight. It's piercing. It's gonna work really well in windy conditions. I'm still not sure that it's doing as much as the five wood for me personally, but then there is another thing that I wanna consider. The other big deal for me about having sort of matching fairway woods is that they look the same. That sounds a real obvious statement. But first of all, they've got a real good look for me. They're, they're fairly compact, I would say, in uh, the way fairway woods have gone in recent years. It's more of a classical look, gloss finish. Looks superb at a dress. But I think switching from one to the other, often if you've got different makes, there's a tendency to say, oh, my three wood is my favorite club. And that then means that when you pick up your five wood, if it looks a bit different, then that becomes not your favorite club and confidence might dip a little. These two, apart from that visible loft, addition of loft in the five wood, are virtually identical at address. So for me, that confidence, if you've got confidence in one, the likelihood is that that will pass through to both clubs and that can only be a real positive. Now there's one additional thing that I just want to mention and that is the key to having adjustability in your fairway woods and your hybrids and that's a relevance of brand. And the reason I say that is because this is a great example of where for me, that three wood is probably lofted just a little bit strong. I'm not getting the ball flight that I would really like. And there's an argument to say that the five wood is the opposite, just flighting it just maybe just a tad too high. And by either adding loft to one or lowering the loft in the five wood, which is what I'm about to try and do, then obviously we can make that kind of difference. And I think that's key to all kinds of things, 
gapping in your bag but for me it's more of a desired ball flight and something that uh, suits my eye i've got a little bit of a shorter shaft in the five wood and that's why i would prefer to uh, de-loft this just a tad and we'll see what that does and that is my perfect ball flight so my findings that I said were surprised me a little bit out on the golf course was perhaps the inconsistency of the three wood in my hands and my inability to get it, um, yeah, performing consistently. And um, in the dry ball data, which we're gonna have a look at now, what we've seen was not a huge difference, perhaps ones that you would expect, but if you look at the carry distance, only five yards of carry difference. Spin number was lower with the three wood than the five, as you'd expect. A considerable difference in the terms of the peak height and that comes from the difference in the launch angle and again the five would be that much higher and launching that much higher so out on the golf course i've pretty much seen exactly that but maybe the ball flight on a three wood was even lower than what i was achieving indoor and like i said there was an inconsistency with it I said at the beginning of the video about, you know, again, keep referencing this, should a three would come back into people's bags. And I can only talk for mine. And for me, I'm still leaning towards the flexibility, uh, the variety that the five would offers. And even just notching that one degree down, I said to you about how it becomes a perfect ball flight for me. And then I, so much so, I hit a second shot off that same tee box. It's almost identical in a ball flight. And that kind of thing just breeds confidence. We haven't tried them out of the rough and I just don't like a three without the rough where I think a five wood is a club that you can uh, sort of attempt to do that in sort of the semi rough. So again, I've done a number of videos, like I said, where I've been pushing people to sort of move away from a three wood and just question how many times per round you actually use it. And for me, they're a club that gathers cobwebs and it's why I've removed it from the bag. And whilst this is a great example of a good three wood, it's certainly not one that would make its way into my bag, whereas the five wood is uh, exactly that. So this lineup from Mizuno has been sort of geared towards I wouldn't say better players, but faster swing speeds. And I found that to be an issue with the driver for me, and I didn't get the best performance out of it. But I will say with the five woods, the complete opposite, very playable, I think very forgiving, not the low spin model in my hands that uh, is suggested from Mizuno. And like I said, overall, a real good uh, lineup of fairway woods. But for me, the bigger picture, it's five wood all day long over the three wood. And I would like to know, what are your thoughts? Do you agree with that? Or are you now slowly moving over, as many golfers are, into five woods, seven woods, and such like the more lofted clubs in the bag? Right, as ever, thanks for watching. A little bit dull here at Hollywell, but it's in superb condition. We're playing plenty of golf, and I hope you are too. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon.